I made a weird game. It all started with this image of a cowboy with quite the long legs. In fact, I'm the cowboy. The cowboy in this picture kind of looks like a parabola. You know that graph function in math? Whoa there, horsey, slow your buck down. What in the math are we talking about? Okay, I want to ease you into this. There's a lot of math. Hey, math sucks. Don't even start. No, 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 no. Hear me out. We remember math in high school as these anxiety-inducing spreadsheets that we had to complete in a limited time. They were super difficult, and we didn't even know why we're doing them, and then the teacher would say something along the lines of, You're not gonna have a calculator on you at all times. Uh, I had this phone surgically connected to my person, and it has a calculator. Who is that guy? See, that's not the point. Those math tables were meant to rewire your brain to think in a mathematical way. Then you can start learning more applicable math, but you would never understand that as a kid because you were a child. And a child didn't know you could mathematically define a cowboy's legs with a parabola. Hear me out. If the peak of the curve is where the cowboy's body is, call this the y-intercept, and the foot right here is on the x-intercept, we can define a function to draw the legs with this equation. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Where A is the wideness of the curve, B is the location of the curve along this line, y equals x, and C is the y-intercept. Since we're going to set the peak of the curve at the y-intercept, B will be zero when we draw the curve, and that simplifies this down. Now, all we have to solve for in the equation is A, and we can do that with the quadratic formula. You might have had a song to help you remember this, but if you didn't, this was mine. <clears throat> In quadratics, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of the quantity of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's okay, I'm uncomfortable too. Comment down below if you hate math. With this equation, we can rearrange it using algebra and solve for a. Then we have our leg equation to find for any body and foot position. We just need to draw tiny leg segments at each x interval and the corresponding y location we just solved for. Granted, I'm pretty good at making code not work, but I got the body and foot moving around and in a couple of attempts, they're in the right location. Next, we just have to rotate each leg segment using a little bit of calculus. Oh, don't worry, we're not gonna go that deep. We can get the angle or slope of any point along the curve using the derivative and the trigonometry function arctangent. The derivative of our function is just y equals 2ax. So to get the angle of the leg segment, we just take arctangent of 2ax. And looky there, the legs are rotating. Kind of. After nicely asking my code to work, <laughs> you don't have a choice here, partner. Everything is working smoothly. Now we need to stretch each leg segment to link them up, so we calculate the linear distance between each point in our equation and- Whoa, whoa, whoa there. You're throwing out math terms and I'm losing you. But you're still watching because you want to learn. And learning is painful, it hurts your brain. Kind of like working out hurts your muscles, but it gets you stronger. It's like brain fitness. And trust me, it's, it's not super difficult, it's just with the right equations, everything works fine. We got a cowboy with really, really long legs. And you know what would make this cowboy interesting? More math. I want this cowboy to wobble with each step, make it look super unstable and hard to control. And how can we do that? A spring mass dampener system. You know, a friend of mine in college once said, everything is a spring mass dampener system. So what are they? This here is a doorstop that I taped a little thing to, which gives you a spring and a mass. Where it sits right now is the equilibrium of the system, and when I push on the spring, it's going to put a force in the direction towards the equilibrium point. When I release my hand, the spring accelerates the mass towards the equilibrium using Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration. 
And that force is defined by Hooke's Law, where the force equals the spring stiffness, or how difficult it is to stretch and compress a spring, times the distance from the equilibrium point that the spring is stretched. As the mass accelerates back and forth, it starts to slow down due to friction, which is defined as dampening. The dampening force counteracts the movement of the mass, causing it to slow down. I just explained an entire semester of college with the door spring. Throwing these equations into code and adding some movement looks something like this. And with all the setup, we can use this code and mash it into the cowboy code to make this boy wiggle. But first, we need to find where we want the body to go relative to the feet. To do that, we set a max leg length, then use a bunch of geometry functions with the angle and distance between the legs and make an isosceles triangle, with the x and y location of the tip of the triangle being where we want the body to go. I wasn't lying, there's a lot of math happening. But I just want to say that if you get good enough at the subject, you can make some pretty goofy stuff in games. Now, when the legs move, we can set a spring force on the body towards the newfound location. The nice way of setting up these equations is I can change all the parameters like the mass, the stiffness, and the leg length until the wacky movement looks just right. And look at this long-legged cowboy wildly wiggling about. I just now realized he doesn't have a name, so... Alright, Otis Jenkins, you need an objective. And I spent a lot of time figuring out the coding behind this that I didn't even think of what the gameplay is supposed to be. I was thinking of games with weird movement mechanics involving the legs, and of course I thought of Quop. And as inspiring as this game is, I have no idea how to copy, <laughs> I mean, it, it, take influence from a Fadian type game like this. I kind of want to make a mobile game which had me thinking of goofy arcade style games I used to play on the iPod Touch days. You know, games like Flappy Bird and Doodle Jump. This was back when mobile games weren't cheap cash grabs and didn't flood you with 30 second unskippable ads every level. These old games are very simple at their core, but they get you into a hypnotic flow state that makes you want to play just one more round. So let's say Otis Jenkins falls into an infinitely deep canyon in old western Utah and has to use his exceptionally long legs to get out. And what if the player uses both their thumbs to control the left and right legs separately? That way the player can swipe their thumbs down to slingshot Otis's feet onto platforms and try to get high up the canyon walls until they hit an obstacle or miss a platform. So let's get some platforms in the game and a cactus to act as our obstacle for now. The cowboy is quite the long boy and making hitboxes for the legs and feet would just be awful. So let's just make it so only the body has to hit a cactus for the player to lose. As the player gets higher up, we can make a script to randomly generate where the platforms and obstacles will spawn, making each run of the game unique. The easiest way to do this is to have the level going down and the player and camera staying in one spot. In case you're curious, I use the function with all in GameMaker to move all the objects down the screen together. Now, cacti are pretty simple, but what if there are other cowboys to avoid on your way up the canyon? Meet the Bush Gang Boys. They shoot their revolvers with 200 caliber rounds that you have to avoid. You can also kick them into oblivion with your massive boots. Oh, and we have randomly generated bushes, so not only can you touch grass, you can foot pound it out of existence. Now we can add some parallax scrolling canyon walls and a scorekeeping system that saves your high score. It's a text file, and it can be hacked really easy. And it's done! Just add a title screen and some silly sound effects so we can put it on the Google Play Store. It's there. It's free. You can download it now for Android, but not on iPhone, because hot cheese iPhones are a pain in the mustache to develop for. So check out Cowboy Legs. Share your high score. Become a gamer. Link in the description. You know, it's funny. I actually had this game and video script completely finished a couple months ago, but then the shattering happened. And gee whiz, I want to make a game like Elden Ring, because that's all I've been doing since it was released. So if you subscribe, you might see a shorter, more simplified version of that. I'm trying to make more arcade games because they're simple and I learn a lot from doing them. Also, it's very quick for me to get them out. And since you're still here, I want to tell you a quick story. If you remember my previous video where I made Last Island, shout out to Zack as a gardener for winning the $500, I made this little character, the Beacon of Light. While the r slash place event was happening on Reddit, my small Discord group of about 8 people wanted to get him in there, and we did. A nice safe area next to this giant peace sign. We actually commandeered an orange among us to make him, and he survived for quite a while. Even after defending him from a giant turtle picture thrown in by XQC in his massive 200,000 person stream, giving us hope that he'd be in the final image. But disaster struck. On the final morning of Arsage Place, a Dutch bot decided that this location would be great for their picture of sailboats. 
There was no defending our small 8x8 image of the beacon of light from this Dutch bot as pixels flooded in nearly instantly, covering him up for good. One of my friends in my Discord ended up finding the guy who commanded the bot and sent him a message. The conversation between the two went something like this. Hey man, your Dutch ships covered up our little orange guy. Yeah, sorry dude, we took that spot with a lot of force. Well, can you help us out and get him in the canvas somewhere? Yeah, sure. Send us a one-to-one -one PNG image of the orange dude and we could throw him into our bot script. So we did. And look at this. This is the final image of r slash place posted by Reddit's official Twitter page. And on the Dutch flag, just to the left of the RimWorld logo, we have the Beacon of Light, botted in by the same people who created this image of the ships. So I guess if you can't beat the bots by placing a single pixel every five minutes, join them. Now, Last Island is immortalized forever in internet history. Pretty cool. Anyways, download Cowboy Legs if you're on Android. There's also a PC version on itch.io, link in the description, but I would say it's not as good as the mobile version because that's just how the game was designed. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go shave and get a haircut. Math. Not even once.